In 2016, Muriwai Beach in Auckland, New Zealand captured global attention with a strange and mysterious occurrence. Everyone has just been coming down to take heaps of photos of them. A massive black object washed ashore, drawing the curiosity of many, including Melissa Doubleday, who first spotted it. Initially, she thought it might be a whale carcass. The object was covered in seaweed, black tendrils, and white shells, resembling a crustacean-like creature. This unusual find sparked widespread interest and speculation among locals and experts. Some believed it to be a piece of driftwood, others a rare marine creature, or even a long-lost sea monster. However, what experts discovered is shocking and far from what everyone expected. After experts from the New Zealand Marine Science Society examined the object, they identified it as a large piece of driftwood covered in a species of gooseneck barnacles known as Lepus anitifera. It's surprising how something as ordinary as driftwood can turn into a marine spectacle. But what makes barnacles so fascinating? Did their study contribute to the development of Darwin's theory of evolution? And what threats do they pose to ships and other marine creatures? Get ready to discover the answers to these questions and more as we explore the fascinating connection between barnacles and technological advancements like never before. The Murray monster, as many called it, turned out to be not a monster at all, but a captivating example of barnacle colonization. What people thought was a mysterious creature was simply a piece of driftwood covered in barnacles. These crustaceans, which are related to crabs and lobsters, thrive in oceans and are known for their remarkable ability to attach themselves to various surfaces. With over 1,200 species, barnacles are a fascinating subject of study in marine biology. Barnacles can easily attach themselves to various surfaces such as rocks, ship hulls, and even other animals. These creatures are broadly categorized into two types, acorn barnacles, also known as sessile barnacles, and goose barnacles, known as pedunculate barnacles. The barnacles found on the Murawai monster were goose barnacles, recognized for their long, flexible stalks that enabled them to cling to floating objects. Goose barnacles are often found on surfaces like rocks, ship hulls, and the shells of marine animals, including sea turtles and whales. Exciting folklore surrounding barnacles is the old belief that goose barnacles were the larval stage of barnacle geese birds. People believe these birds, which had never been seen nesting, were born from barnacles appearing out of nowhere from the sea. While this has been debunked as a myth, it highlights barnacles' fascinating and sometimes mysterious nature. Barnacles do enter challenges with other marine creatures, and of those challenges involves their interactions with whales. Now, let's look into the unique relationship between barnacles and their whale hosts. The relationship between whales and barnacles in the marine environment is a fascinating one. Certain barnacle species, like the whale barnacle or Coronula diadema, live exclusively on the skin of whales. This unique relationship begins when barnacle larvae encounter a whale in the open ocean and attach themselves to its skin, typically around the head, flippers, or tail. As these barnacles grow, they embed themselves deeper into the whale's skin, forming a strong attachment that allows them to stay securely fastened despite the fast and powerful movements of these massive mammals. While barnacles are generally harmless to whales, they can cause irritation and discomfort if they grow in large numbers or sensitive areas. Interestingly, whale barnacles only live for about a year. Afterwards, they naturally detach from the whale. Interestingly, barnacles have a peculiar preference when it comes to their hosts. They only attach to certain whale species. You'll find them on humpback and gray whales, but not on faster moving species like killer whales. This is likely because killer whales have smoother, more streamlined skin, offering fewer attachment points for the barnacles. Additionally, the swift and agile movements of killer whales make it challenging for barnacle larvae to attach and stay secure. 
Moreover, killer whales' active lifestyle, which includes frequent deep dives and high-speed chases, makes it difficult for barnacles to survive on their bodies. As a result, barnacles have evolved to prefer slower, surface-dwelling whales like humpbacks and gray whales, where they can thrive with minimal disturbance. This selective attachment gives us valuable insight into their survival strategies. However, it also raises another puzzling question. How do these immobile creatures manage to reproduce effectively while attached to moving hosts? Well, the fact is, barnacles are hermaphrodites. This means that each individual possesses both male and female reproductive organs. However, they do not self-fertilize. Instead, they engage in cross-fertilization with their neighbors. Given that barnacles cannot move, they rely on having nearby companions for mating. To overcome the challenges of immobility, barnacles have long penises relative to their body size. During mating, the barnacle extends its penis to deposit sperm into the mantle cavity of a nearby barnacle. The fertilized eggs are then brooded with the barnacle's mantle cavity until they develop into larvae. Afterwards, the hatching process begins. This process itself is equally fascinating. The barnacles begin life as free-swimming larvae called nauplii. The parent barnacle releases these larvae into the water where they drift through the ocean, feeding on plankton. Eventually, they transform into a stage known as a cyprid. At this point, the cyprid searches for a suitable surface to attach itself to. Once it finds the right spot, the cyprid undergoes a final metamorphosis into an adult barnacle, securing itself with a powerful adhesive, one of the most potent natural glues known to science. This cement-like secretion keeps the barnacle attached to surfaces in even the most turbulent waters. In many ways, barnacles are visually and behaviorally similar to corals, another marine organism known for their sessile lifestyle and hard exoskeletons. Corals, like barnacles, are filter feeders that capture tiny particles from the water. However, corals reproduce differently. They often spawn by releasing eggs and sperm into the water, where fertilization occurs externally. Despite these differences, the visual similarities between barnacles and corals often lead to confusion, especially since both can form large, visually striking colonies on underwater surfaces. The mysterious nature of barnacles made them one of the key subjects studied by the renowned Charles Darwin as he developed his theory of evolution and natural selection. Now, the study of barnacles holds a special place in the history of science, particularly in the life of Charles Darwin. After his famous mission on the HMS Beagle, Darwin spent eight years studying barnacles in great detail. His research was instrumental in his later theories on evolution. Darwin was particularly interested in the diversity and complexity of barnacle species, leading him to publish several monographs on the subject. His careful research on barnacles was instrumental in shaping the critical concepts that would later become central to his theory of natural selection. This work is outlined in his seminal book, On the Origin of Species. The variations he observed among barnacle species, including their reproductive strategies and adaptations to different environments, provided compelling evidence for the idea that species evolve and change over time. Darwin's barnacle studies were so comprehensive that they are still referenced by scientists today, and they helped establish him as one of the leading naturalists of his time. But did you know that while barnacles are a fascinating part of marine ecosystems, they can also cause significant harm to other animals and human-made structures, if not properly managed. For example, sea turtles often suffer from heavy barnacle infestations, which can lead to skin infections, impaired swimming, and even death if the infestation is severe. Similarly, crabs can fall victim to parasitic barnacles, particularly the rhizocephrin barnacle. This harmful species burrows into the crab's body and takes over its reproductive system, ultimately rendering the crab sterile. Not only does the parasitic barnacle cause physical harm to its host, but it also manipulates the crab's behavior, compelling it to care for the barnacle's larva as if it were its own. 
In addition to their impact on marine animals, barnacles can also cause significant damage to ships and other ocean structures. Their strong adhesive secretions allow them to attach to ship hulls, forming dense colonies that increase drag and reduce fuel efficiency. This has led to the development of anti-fouling coatings for ships that prevent barnacles from attaching. These coatings have significantly reduced the economic impact of barnacle colonization, making it essential to remove barnacles from ships and other marine structures. If left unchecked, barnacle growth can increase operational costs and potentially cause structural damage. While barnacles can cause danger to marine and human structure, their unique properties have also inspired technological advancements. Now, let's look into how barnacles have become a source of inspiration for new materials and technologies. Despite their downsides, the unique properties of barnacle shells and their adhesive abilities have inspired researchers to develop new materials and technologies. For instance, the strength of barnacle adhesive has been extensively studied for its potential to replicate its properties in underwater construction and medical applications. This natural adhesive is remarkable because it remains effective even in wet conditions. Researchers are also studying the microstructure of barnacle shells, which are incredibly strong and resistant to wear. The layered structure of the shell, combined with its mineral composition, provides a blueprint for developing new, lightweight, and durable materials. Additionally, barnacles have inspired anti-fouling technologies designed to prevent marine organisms from attaching to ships and other underwater structures. Scientists are also developing coatings that can either repel barnacles or stop them from adhering in the first place. These technological advancements inspired by barnacles highlight the importance of utilizing nature's solutions to address human engineering challenges. Though small and often overlooked, barnacles are essential to the marine ecosystem. They are more than just the irritating creatures we see clinging to rocks, whales, and ships. Their story reminds us of the interconnected world beneath the ocean. So the next time you spot a barnacle-covered surface, take a moment to appreciate the amazing life that clings to it. A life that has inspired science and technological development in today's world. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this. And you can click on any of the videos showing on your screen right now to discover more eye-opening content about the animal world. See you there.